OK, in this problem, we've got a funicular is modelled as a pair of particles sliding on a smooth slope inclined at 38 degrees to the horizontal. The particles are connected by a light and extensible cable passing around a smooth pulley at the top of the plane. Given that the masses of the particles are 8,500 kilos and 3,500 kilos, find the acceleration of the system and the tension in the cable. OK. So, here is my diagram. This is what the situation looks like. We've got these two particles connected by this light and extensible rope um, uh, that's a uh, cable, rather, passing around a smooth pulley at the top of the plane, OK, as shown. So, let's call this particle A and that particle B. Particle A can be the one with the 8,500 kilos. So, it's got this weight working downwards of 8,500 G. And so if I break that into its component parts, parallel and perpendicular to the plane, that angle's 38 degrees. So I'm going to have 8,500 G sine 38 and 8,500 G cosine 38 for its uh, opposite and adjacent sides, respectively. Right, now there'll be this tension in the cable and tension in the cable for B as well. Now, B that's, has a weight of 3,500 kilos, so three, uh, sorry, mass of 3,500 kilos, so a weight of 3,500 G. Let's break that apart as well. So we're going to have 3,500 G cosine 38 for the adjacent side, and 3,500 G sine 38 for the opposite side. Sorry if you can't quite read that. OK. But uh, as long as you've got that down. Right. So we need to find the acceleration of the system and the tension of the cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resolve A. Um, and both of these are going to be parallel to the plane. OK. Now, before we go through that, we, we also need to think about the acceleration, don't we? The direction of acceleration. Now, if I just let these go, the system go, then uh, A being the heavier particle will move down the plane, pulling B up the plane. So we're going to be accelerating down the plane and accelerating up the plane for B. OK? So resolving A, taking uh, the direction of motion as positive. So I've got the 8,500 G uh, sine 38, OK, the component parallel to the plane uh, for the weight. Take away the tension, working against me, is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Now, if I resolve B parallel to the plane, uh, taking up the plane as positive this time. I've got T, take away 3,500 G sine 38, is equal to the mass times acceleration. And here are my two equations. So let's number those 1 and 2. Now if I add those two equations together, I'm going to knock out the T's. So I've got 8,500 G sine 38, take away 3,500 G sine 38. And that's going to be equal to, well, 8,500 plus 3,500 is 12,000. So 12,000 A. So I've got 8,500 times 9.8 times sine of 38. Take away 3,500 times 9.8, taking g as 9.8 here, uh, times sine of 38. So that gets me 30,167. I'm going to divide that by the 12,000. And that gets me a as 2.5 metres per second per second are two significant figures. 2.51395.1024. OK? So that's my acceleration. So now I can substitute that back into one of the two equations. So if I substitute that into number 2, I can get T is 3,500 G sine of 38 plus 3,500 times the 2.51, etc. That's the acceleration. 
So if I multiply what's on my calculator by the 3,500, and then add on 3,500 times 9.8 times sine of 38, and that gets me 29,000, sorry, 916.01719 newtons. Okay, so the two significant figures, that's 30,000 newtons. Okay, so 30,000 newtons to two significant figures. Right, so that's A. Now, B, the track is 450 metres long. If the brakes fail when the heavier particle is at the top, find the speed of the particle when it reaches the bottom of the slope. Okay, so now what we have um, is we need to be thinking about a SUVAT problem here. Okay, now we'd be initially at rest when the uh, brakes fail, so that's zero. We need to travel 450 metres. I want to find the speed. The problem is I don't know the acceleration. Okay, now if, your part, if there's the tension is gone okay, from particle A, then all I have now, so here's my slope, here's particle A, okay, it's weight working downwards, we've got the 8,500G, we've got the 8,500G, so that's uh, 38 degrees, wasn't it? So 8,500G cosine 38, and 8,500g sine 38. Okay, so all I've got now is the weight that's pulling it downwards. Um, the tension's gone, and I'm going to be accelerating downwards. Okay, so I've got a new acceleration now. So really what I want to do before I can use the SUVAT equations is I need to work out what that acceleration is. Okay, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of space. So, okay, right, I'll do. Right, so, um, so if I resolve parallel to the slope, then I've just got the eight thousand five hundred G sine of thirty eight working down the slope. And that's got to be equal to the mass, no, oh, too many zeros, times acceleration. So the acceleration is just going to be g, 9.8, times sine of 38, dividing both sides by the 8,500. And that is 6.0334, etc. Okay, metres per second per second. So 6.0 metres per second per second per to two significant figures. Okay, so I want the equation that doesn't have time involved, and that's the last one for SUVAT. So V squared is equal to U squared, which is zero, plus two lots of A times S. So I've still got the 6.033 in my calculator, times that by 450 and times that by 2, and that gets me 5430.134212. And then square root that gets me 73.689. So 74 meters per second. To two significant figures. Okay? And so that's how we can deal with this problem.